everyone, it's Ashley Nicole. Welcome back to the channel. We are here today with fun DIY face masks for you guys. These are 10 super simple, super easy DIY face masks. Each of them are only two ingredients each, so they're really easy to make. And each one has a specific purpose for your skin. Don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe if you haven't yet, and hit the bell so that you get notifications every single time I upload a video. There's a lot of colors happening right now. <laughs> It's about to get all over my face. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get on into it. Okay, so the first one we have here is green tea and honey. This one is supposed to be uh, really hydrating and it's supposed to brighten your skin. And uh, the caffeine in the green tea is supposed to wake your skin up. So this would be a good one to use in the morning, that's for sure. <gasps> that's slimy. Um, okay, here we go. It smells like tea. It's really thick and kind of sticky. This one says you definitely want to leave it on between 10 to 20 minutes. So all of it is technically edible. I don't know if it would actually like taste good. Oh, well my face feels soft already and I have nine more to go. <laughs> my skin's gonna be great after this. This is coconut milk and tomato juice, which is interesting. So this is specifically for brightening and this is for like dark spots on your face So this doesn't necessarily have to be like a full face mask like all over your face face mask But more like a dip and put it on that specific spot and let it set for a bit For example, I have dark under eye circles I always have and this is something that would correct it. So what you would do is you would just kind of dab your fingers in there press the liquid underneath your eyes or wherever your dark spots are. If you have a cotton ball, use a cotton ball. I'm being adventurous and using my fingers. <laughs> and literally that's all you do. So this is not as messy as like the other face masks, um, but it is more liquidy. Um, so you would definitely just like put a little bit on and then go to sleep like that, let it dry on. It smells like tomato soup. Oh, it tastes like vomit. <laughs> What's that? Tomato juice and milk. I don't need <laughs> The next one we have is an egg white with lemon juice. Technically it's edible, but I wouldn't recommend it. That doesn't smell good. Nope, does not smell good at all. Blech. This is for clearing out blackheads, and I don't know why, but the combination of the egg white and the lemon juice is supposed to get real down deep in your skin and just push everything out, basically. So this is something that you wouldn't sleep in. This is something you would put on, let it soak in your skin for a little bit, and then rinse off. Ooh, I don't like it. So like the last one we did, this is not something that's gonna go all over your face. This is specifically for like the T-zone area or just on your nose. Ew, it's really, it's really slimy. I get them mostly on my nose, but just general t-zone area is pretty normal for most people. I can't believe I'm putting an egg on my face. Ew, ew, it's on my face. Ew, ew, it looks so gross. And yeah, <laughs> that is all you do basically. It feels really nasty. Oh, my hand smells disgusting. Okay, the next one is coffee grounds and honey. And honey is good for brightening and moisturizing and hydrating. Coffee grounds is great for exfoliating your skin and then the caffeine helps like wake up your skin. So this is another one that's really good for in the morning. And this is really good for like face and body also. Here's what it looks like. And we're just gonna put it on gently because again, coffee grounds, you don't wanna like press too hard into your skin. Oh, I've used a lot of coffee scrubs in the past. One of my favorite ones is from Lush and this actually feels very, very, very similar to it. It smells really good, but it is a messy one. So maybe do this in the shower. Tastes good. You want to massage your skin while you're taking the face mask off and that's what's gonna actually pull off the dead skin. This one's my favorite so far. <laughs> my face is slowly getting redder because I keep putting masks on and rubbing them off, so don't mind that. The next one that we have is yogurt and lemon, and this is specifically to help your skin glow. You can put it on for up to 15, 20 minutes and then take it off a little bit later. I personally wouldn't sleep in this because there's yogurt in it, uh, but some people do apparently. So up to you. It's actually really nice for a change to not have anything sticky. <laughs> yeah, this one actually feels really good. <gasps> I definitely feel the lemon more kind of tingles, which is interesting because I didn't feel it in the other one, but I feel it in this one. Maybe it has something to do with the yogurt. I don't know how I like it. Yeah, I don't think I like it. 
Mm. On to the next one, we have honey and cinnamon. Smells so good. It smells kind of Christmassy and warm with the honey. This one is specifically for clearing acne. So if you have acne prone skin, this is what you would want to use. Um, and you're just gonna smell like Christmas all day long. This is not something you're gonna wanna sleep in. This reminds me a lot of the coffee grounds one. Ready, set, go. I smell delicious. I smell like a baked good. I take it back. I said the coffee ground one was my favorite one. I take it back. This one is my favorite one. I smell, I smell so good. I'm gonna eat it. It's good. It tastes like apple pie. Even though the like pieces of cinnamon are a lot smaller than the coffee grounds, this is also an exfoliant because there is little pieces of cinnamon. Um, so when you take it off, you wanna just like rub your skin gently to get everything off and it'll also get off excess dead skin. I'm making a mess and getting cinnamon everywhere. So I'm gonna go wash this off. Okay, so this one here is lemon juice with honey and it's mostly honey with just like a teaspoon of lemon juice really. It's not a lot, it doesn't take a lot. Here's what you end up with. It's this really pretty like amber color and um, you're gonna put it on your face for about 10 minutes and um, it's going to clear your skin. It smells great, it smells, it just smells really good. So again, we're just gonna Go ahead and get on into it. This is sticky runny. It's like a halfway point between sticky and runny. Because I've had so many like grounds in the last few ones, this one feels really nice. <laughs> we're making a mess. Okay, we're all right, we're all right. This actually feels really, really, really nice. This might be on the list for like favorites. Ready? Tastes pretty good. Ooh, tart, lemon, ugh. We have another exfoliant for you guys. If you weren't a fan of the Coffee Grounds one, then here is another option for you. This is honey and sugar. Again, because there's honey in it, it's gonna be brightening and moisturizing and hydrating all at the same time. I like the sugar, I think, a little better than the coffee because it's not as harsh as the Coffee Grounds. I'm sure it tastes good too. I should try that. It's good. Whatever kind of sugar you want, use it. It doesn't have to be fancy or expensive, it just needs to be sugar. But I'm sure the more organic and natural it is, the better it is for your skin, so up to you. Rub it on and rub it off in circular motions, very gently, of course, again, and it's gonna get rid of all of your dead skin. At this rate, I'm gonna have like zero dead skin on my face. <laughs> and of course, because what is a DIY face mask video without some kind of avocado DIY face mask, we have an avocado face mask. This is super simple. It's just avocado and honey mashed up together. The only thing that I hate about these face masks, the DIY avocado ones, is that they're so clumpy. That just looks gross. <laughs> uh, it smells like guacamole all over my face. It smells, yep. <clears throat> this is, the clumps make it difficult, that's for sure. Um, it does feel good on my skin though. Looking back now, I'm thinking I probably should have blended this, but then that would have been a little extra work that I, you know, didn't feel like doing. This is pretty awful looking, um, but believe it or not, it feels great. <laughs> really smooth and soft, so I like it. Maybe blend yours or mash it better. Try to avoid this in general. <laughs> Taste test. Avocado <laughs> and honey it would be better with a tortilla chip. <laughs> we are down to the last face mask, and this is coconut oil mixed with turmeric. It's very yellow. It smells like mostly coconut oil. And then if you take like a really big whiff, you get the harsh like turmeric. It's like whoa, there's something else in there. I'm kind of worried if this might like stain my skin. I walk away with a very 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 bright yellow face. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Looks like a uh, baby food. That's what it looks like. Baby food. Oh, let's not talk about that. This actually feels pretty good though. I think the coconut oil is just really easy to just maneuver rather than some of the other things I use, like the yogurt. I look like I'm sick. <laughs> it does feel really good on my skin, even though it probably doesn't look good on my skin. But this is something you don't wanna sleep with overnight because, I mean, first of all, think of your pillow. <laughs> It's not a good situation. Wow, so um, uh, my fingernails are yellow. <laughs> so please proceed with caution with the turmeric one. Well anyways, that is all of the weird edible DIY face mask that I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this and found this interesting. Let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite. If you try out any of these, let me know that as well. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.